Hello and welcome to this new video presenting the new features in version 7.10 of Bonita. I'm Dathan Qual, Evangelist and Community Manager at Bonita Soft, and in this new chapter, I will present the new application Bonita for User Profile. Before going into details, let's step back for a moment to understand the overall approach of these developments around Bonita Portal. Our goal is to replace the current portal with living applications for user, administrator, or process manager profiles, and we have chosen to start this project with the user one. This change will also simplify the industrialization and customization of the application pages for the different profiles in the UI designer. This project had already started since Bonita 7.9 with a modification of the import export page of the organization in the administrator portal. And it will continue in 2020 with evolutions for the users and the creation of applications for the administrator and the process manager. So what's changing with this new user application? First of all, we offer a complete application that can be deployed and customized from the studio and provided with all resources. The application descriptor, case list page, a user task list, the process list, and Bonita layout and Bonita theme. On the other hand, while the list of cases up to Bonita 7.9 was mainly in AngularJS out of the UI designer, we have taken this list to develop it from the UI designer and thus warranty the availability of a responsive and customizable case list. So you will be able to create your own user application quickly from a standard user case list, for example. However, there are few things to know before starting. The proposed application will be deployed as an application in the same way as your other applications in parallel with the native DWT portal. The pages of the application will not be exportable from the portal then customized from the UI designer as is the organization page, but from the studio in the pages part. This allows you, if you already have a project deployed using the native GWT portal, to prepare a new user application in parallel while waiting for the full depreciation of the portal. The task list is taken from the current portal and the list of processes is encoded in React which is therefore not customizable for the moment from the UI designer. You can, however, export and customize them outside. Then, to finish, the link between the pages of the application is currently hard-coded. I will now show you how to implement this new user application and what it contains. For that, I have started the studio and I will start from there because I will import the project from the home page, as you can see here, simply by clicking on the link. It will import the Borsukai. Here I have already imported it before, so you won't see it imported totally, but you have the same interface when you import it. Then I will deploy this new Bonita application as all applications. If you want to see, you can check that it contains a task list page, the list of tasks and the list of processes which the user has access in the Bonita GWT portal here. And it's a consistent set of application pages that is built with UI designer or out of UI designer, but with the layout as well and the theme. This application will appear in the application section of the administrator portal as you can see here, if I go to applications, I see the Bonita user application. I have deployed the portal and I have just deployed also the Bonita user application. You can also see it in the menu here of the user profile. So, as I told you, you can see the task list, which is similar to the native portal task list because it's the same, it has been developed and remains exactly the same in AngularJS. Then you can see the process list that is similar as well to the portal here. 
and that has been developed in React. Those, those lists won't be able to be customized, as I told you before. Now we are going to focus on exploring more the case list that has been redeveloped based on the AngularJS case list that was avail available before in order to be customizable and responsive. This case list, if you deploy it in UI Designer, I will show you, is based on repeatable containers. As you can see here, you have a container which will be repeated when displaying all the open cases. And in the archived case tab, I have the same kind of container displaying all the archived cases. This will offer a gain in flexibility and readability, and the page will be fully responsive. I'm going to show you the responsiveness of the page now. Here, as you can see, the list of filters is going to adapt to the page size. And if I simulate an iPhone, here I have an iPhone, you can see that in this case, all my fields are going to remain visible. They are going to adapt to the screen size. Now let's take a closer look at the structure of this case list and its features. The case ID here is clickable and allows you to view the summary page of the case, the overview page. If I go back to the process list, as you can see, the process name here is displayed with this version. And this process name is the display name because we will not display the technical name. In this list, you can display the search keys that you have defined in the studio before, as here, for example, the vacation start date, the destination, the means of transportation, for example. It is also possible to display only the case information, but in this case, the view has to be modified in the UI designer. Now, if we take a look at the list of archived cases, we notice that it indicates the start date of the case, but also its ending date and time. By default, and for performance reasons, only 10 cases are loaded and displayed. To display more, just click on Load More Cases, and it will display the following 10 cases. To facilitate the search of cases, you can also use the filters, for example, I just want to have information about the new vacation request with means of transportation. Or I want to see our processes, but I want to sort by start dates. I can also search by search keys. The request in this case will reload the first page each time. In the list of cases, you will be able to see cases started by yourself or by other actors on the process in which you have carried out at least one task. By selecting Started by me, you will only see the cases you have initiated. You have therefore discovered this new Bonita user application and its new list of cases. At the moment, you still have the possibility to keep the Bonita portal and deploy Bonita user application in parallel. Next steps in 2020 will be to replace the links between the hard-coded pages with a navigation mechanism between the pages. And also, as this has been requested by many of our customers, the creation of a user dashboard, always in UI Designer, to facilitate personalization and use. We've finished this chapter, so in the next one, I'll tell you about the guest user. Thank you very much and talk to you soon.